Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the water caustics from Blade Runner 2049. I'm just going to create a plane and a primitive so that we have something to look at in our viewfinder. You're all used to seeing this. This is my Octane Live Viewer. And the next thing we're going to do is create an object or a light. An octane IES light because an area light won't work as well because we need to change the distribution and what we're going to change the distribution with is on Google you're just going to Google water caustic map and pick any one that's black and white you can try all different ones you can have high-res ones you can pay for them. You can take these little small thumbnails. Whatever you want will work as long as you have a water caustic map that's black and white. So anyway, in the distribution, we're going to load the file that we saved from Google. Boom. See? It's in there. Now you're looking at the live viewer and it, it doesn't look right. Well, we have to change a few things. Firstly, we have to make the light smaller. That's how specular and diffuse light works. So let's turn an HDRI map on so we can see what we're doing. When the light's big, the shadows are very diffused, so it becomes hard to see what's happening. When you make it small, light becomes specular. It's very easy to see the edge of shadows. So now, with the shadows visible nicely how we want them so far, you increase the power of the light. You don't make the light bigger. You increase the power of the light. That way you can find a really nice balance. And basically you're done. This is it. That's all you had to do. And now it's all about finesse. You can art direct how you want this image to be. So like if we go into our cube and we're looking at it, you know, you're composing your shot. Um, under your light, go into the node editor. Right, there's already going to be these th parameters here that you can change, but the one that's going to be the most meaningful to you is adding a transform node. So transform, we added it, we hooked it up to the transform. And now what we're going to do is you can change the scale. You can transform, I believe, the X and the Y, not the Z. Yeah, X and the Y. And you're off to the races. Like this is your, this is the whole thing. Now you can just you know, rotate, art direct how you want it to be, and, and find the right balance for what works for you. Another thing, you can physically move the light, you can physically rotate the light, and that will create more um, depth, interest, you know, intrigue. And then, it's up to you. You are empowered as an artist now with a technique in the real world that would be very difficult to achieve. Um, and that is the beauty of working in CG software, in my opinion. Uh, Roger Deakins had to build quite a rig for uh, those sets. And here we are, you know, you, you can manipulate light in such a unique fashion to tell your story. Um, this is why I love Cinema 4D and Octane. Anyway... I know it doesn't look so good right there, but I'm just showing you the fundamentals, and then it's up to you to make it look amazing. Thanks for watching. That's my first tutorial. I couldn't find any online. I had to talk to a few people, and I, after all the information I gathered, I felt it was important to share. Take care.